Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick. Uh, some of you also know me as Nicky Drum Skills on PS3 or Xbox 360. And today I'm doing a long awaited tutorial uh, for many of you guys who saw my Johansson effects uh, video test thing. <laughs> so basically, today I'm just going to go over that. It's um, mainly a color gradient effect that I'll be showing you. And there was a couple other small effects in that video, and I'll probably go over them later, such as RGB split and other stuff, aka Twitch. And I'll be going over that probably in some next coming turtles since it is summer now so yeah but first let's do the whole color idea that um, a lot of you guys seen and it really was only popular due to the color theory video by Joe Hansen so big props to him on that one of my favorite uh, editors so I got my PVR clip in here just a really nice little uh, clean clip it's got some nice lighting so I thought I'd use that for the colors so first I'm just gonna go to advent pan crop crop it up uh, with my HD PVR preset and also I'm gonna go and already got the effects for the whole tutorial setup so I got my color corrector on so it gets that nice uh, gets the gray slash greenish haze off and um, I'm coming I'm gonna, I'll be coming to the soft contrast later so first we want to do is to get the whole color looking gradient effect is you want to right click insert new video track um, choose a color I already got the sort of red blue color looks really nice on it set up and currently, you know, you can adjust each color to each point, and you can also sort of uh, drag them around different angles. But I got this already set up because that's what I uh, thought looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna close that. Make sure you drag it all the way over your clip, or uh, you know, wherever you wanted to cover the clip. Um, and then the main sort of ideal of the effect is to go to your compositing mode, which is like this little A with the two screens, like that. And then make sure your selection is instead of source alpha which it will always be at default, uh, switch it to overlay. And right then and there you see that the colors actually bleed into the footage and it looks really nice, you know. It gi gives it a sense of uh, just sort of a different style to each video clip and uh, it's great for, uh, you know, montages, uh, <laughs> montages or, you know, whatever you do, trailers. And um, uh, I actually have not tried this on real life footage with I, uh, since I don't have a camera yet. But I will probably try that eventually because it looks really nice. So that's uh, one of the main effects. Um, you can also, on the clip itself, what I like to do is go to Event Effects and uh, go to your Soft Contrast. That'll be in your uh, Side Video Effects tab. And then I like to uh, add a uh, Warm Vignette. And what that does is, is it uh, adds this really nice sort of uh, faded edges vignette around the whole entire clip. And it looks, it looks really nice on this uh, type of... Uh, style of video so you can adjust all the uh, settings in here I really don't care to adjust them because it looks nice the way it is but you can also adjust you know the color of the exterior and the strengths and uh, what style is it whether it's uh, like a rectangular or an ellipse and the softness and all that and this is only available in Vegas 8 or 9 if you have an older version I actually have a uh, different um, remedy to fix this though and that is um, instead of soft contrast you actually bring this color gradient that's also in your media generators and it's also in a, uh, a like a, a soft edges sort of a style um, vignette and it's uh, the uh, black to trans uh, transparent so I like to add that on there it gives a nice sort of fade uh, faded edges and I've used this on a couple videos too you guys have probably seen so that's a different way to do it um another way to actually get the multicolor effect though that a lot of you guys saw on my Johansson video was that I used this Sony test pattern. It's Sony test pattern number 12. And it is basically just a multicolored um, version of like the colored bars. And you can see they like, uh, they're like that normally, but if you have the gradient style, they look like that. And it looks really nice, you know, it's a bunch of multicolors blended into the video itself. So, you know, if you want to find that, just go to media generators, it's in test patterns, gradient, and also if you want the color gradients, there, there. all different styles. So that's really the whole entire um, gist of the video. Um, also, I had another project media, or was it? It was the, uh, the sunburst sort of style, which kind of gives it a uh, sort of grunge effect, I guess you could say. It looks really nice. Just like that, sort of sun. And for brighter colors like this, I like to actually adjust the opacity on it. So to do that, just go to the top of the video, uh, each little clip, and then it says opacity, and you can just drag that down. 
and it's just sort of like a contrast of view. And it looks really nice. You know, a lot of people use this like on trailers and montages, you know, whatever, whatever you want to use, just be creative. So that's pretty much it for the whole entire tutorial. Um, please subscribe, uh, like the video, subscribe to TV Newman Gaming and Deep Focus Productions because uh, more tutorials like this will probably be uploaded to Deep Focus Productions and maybe TV Newman Gaming. That's going to be more sort of a different style channel. But this is all my editing stuff. If you guys like my editing, uh, check out this channel. So yeah, it's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and all right, later.